Okay, so we've got a scatter graph question, and the first question asks us just to plot the information from the table into the scatter graph. So we've got ice cream sales at the top and temperature at the bottom, which is not kind of the same way around as on the graph, so we've just got to be careful. So the ice cream sales are 46, which is here on the scale, and the temperature is 31, which is here on the scale. And just check that you're you're looking at the scale correctly so we're looking about let's have a look about here okay next one ice cream sales 40 which is here on the scale and uh, temperature 34 which is here so we've just got to be careful and it's about there so those are the two plots that we want to take Next question says, on another day, um, ha another day had an average temperature of 45 degrees. Use the scatter graph to estimate the sales of the day. Now, you need to get used to just drawing a line of best fit to any scatter graph that you come across. You will have to do it. Okay, so just do it. Just even if it doesn't ask you to, just draw a line of best fit. Now, a line of best fit is just a line that follows all the data like that. You should have roughly the same amount of data top and bottom, but it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, okay? So, let's have a look. So we've got average temperature of 45 degrees. So we're gonna draw a line up from 45 degrees, which is about there. And we're gonna draw, oh, the line didn't come up. So let's draw that line there. It's refusing to come up for some reason. Uh, let's try another one. There we go. Let's try another line. Uh, okay, let's do it the old fashioned way. Okay. And then we draw a line across from where it's the line of best fit. Now, to me, that looks like about 55. But if you had the same question and you came up with a different answer of 54 or 58, it still can be correct because you might have drawn a slightly different line of best fit. Okay, so don't worry if you sit uh, sit down next to someone do the same question and get a slightly different answer. Just draw the lines, straight lines, unlike mine, onto your diagram to show the examiner that you um, worked it out. So we've got 55 sales we're predicting. Now, what do we notice about this? Well, look at where all the data is. All the data is here, and yet we're estimating outside the range of the data. Okay, it's called extrapolation, where you do that. So the problem with that, if you imagine we do a graph of height against age, so we have age at the bottom and height up the side, then when you're very young, you grow quite quickly. If someone extrapolated your data and said, oh, okay, well, that growth is going to continue. When you're 80 years old, you're going to be 20 foot high. Well, that doesn't make much sense. It's because we're quite confident with down here because we've got data for that, but we're not very confident with this bit here. We don't know whether the trend continues. Now, with ice cream sales, if it's ridiculously hot, no one's going to leave their house. They're all going to be sitting inside with their air conditioning or sitting in their car with their air conditioning. So we know it probably won't continue. So if you just say that the, um, the estimate is outside the range of the data and if you want to really impress the examiner then you can use the word extrapolated it's been extrapolated 